Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Sheet Family from Calico Critters or or Sylvanian Families depending on where you live. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and unbox them. Well, actually I lied. Before we unbox them, I just want to take a moment to appreciate the packaging because it's so pretty. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just thought I'd mention that. And I'm going to read the little, like, slogan on the back of the box. It says, Over the mountains, tucked away in the forest, we find the most beautiful place in the world, Calico Village. This is the home of the most tender-hearted families and friends. I've read that slogan so many times. <laughs> I have not... I have a pretty small collection of Calico Critters or Sylvanian families myself, but I do love them dearly, and I watch um, the shorts on Netflix a ton because, I don't know, Calico Critters are just so cute. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and unbox them. So, before I film this, I just cut the tape to make it easier. So, this was not an open box. And, ah, oh, okay. They came out. So... <laughs> That sounded wrong, I'm sorry. So here we have the, what looks like the mom, the dad, the brother, and the sister. I'm not sure if there's, well, there probably is like toddlers and babies that aren't in this pack because most of the families have that. Um, so also in the box we get, oh. I thought we would get a storybook this time, but it looks like we do not. Uh, we do, however, get a um, little, what's it called? Catalog, I guess. I love looking at these. There's so many different things on it. All of the different um, houses. And on the other side, we have all the families. And... This paper is really glossy, I'm sorry for the, um, shine, but over here we have the, uh, town. I really like the town, actually. I think it's very, like, unique. I don't know. So, we're distracting from the, oh, <laughs> the sheep family, which has fallen over. Um, and it looks like they're all tied in so just give me a second to um cut their ties okay i have cut them loose from the box and well they're unboxed now so i'm just gonna read their descriptions which are on the bottom of the box so the mother her name is barbara and she's the real expert on fruit trees of every kind her busiest times are late fall and early spring when she is in the orchard all day, pruning and reshaping all the trees and checking for any problems. When the trees start blooming in the spring, she loves to take long walks around the orchard path every evening. So, sorry. Barbara is extremely pretty in my opinion. I love her design. I love all of the sheep's designs with their ears. Um, they're just very cute, and her flower headband is one of my favorite parts of her outfit. And of course, her dress is beautiful. Pretty much all Sylvanian families have incredible detail in their dresses and pants. And she has a little sheep tail. Do sheeps have tails? They do. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that is Barbara. And we'll go next in line, which is the sister, whose name is Lona. She's very serious and a little shy, but she's not shy around her baby brother and sisters. She takes very good care of them. She reads them lots of picture books, draws pictures for them, and helps them, re helps them rest when it's nap, nap time. And she has a matching headband like her mom. Um, and she has the same kind of, like, 
pom-pom around the bottom of her dress. I love that detail. I've never seen that on any other Sylvanians. Um, I mean, sorry, <laughs> Calico Critters. Oh, and there is a loose thread. Okay. Um, but yeah, and she has a very pretty bow. I just love, love, love her outfit and design. Okay, so next we have the brother. His name is Winston. He's gentle, calm, and laid back. He knows a lot and does very well at school. He's great at ballet, but he's shy, so he generally only lets Lona see him dancing. He wants to be ballet dancer when he grows up, so he practices as hard as he can. That is amazing. I love that. A little ballet dancer. And I love his pants. They're very, I don't know. I think the pattern is argyle. That, mm, that sounds kind of wrong. I don't think that's the right answer, but I don't know. I'll have to look that up later. But I love his little orange like bow tie. That color is darling, dashing, I don't know. And his little tail. And I love the sculpting around their faces. I think that's very pretty. And of course, soft. The flocking on um, Calico Critters and Sylvanian families are amazing. It's just so fluffy. Okay, and next is the dad or father. Danny is in charge of the orchards in Calico Village. So I see this family is very like tree orchard based. They're very creative. I really like that. He keeps the grass short and the place tidy. He is very proud of his calico red apples and peachy perfect peaches. After the day's work is done, he likes to relax on the couch with a glass of freshly sque squeezed fruit juice. Oh, okay. I love his little uh, outfit. Well, I mean like his waistband green it's like fluffy i don't really know why i did that but i love it and i love his little collar of like a different color um and his bow tie is also very cute so yes that's it for the unboxing portion of this video but i think i'm gonna set them up in a little um dinner scene and i'll show you that in a second Hey, I'm back. It's probably around 45 minutes later. Um, and I have finished their little kitchen setup in this house. I'm blanking on the name of it right now. But yeah. So, it's like Lona and... Oh, wow, I forgot his name. Okay, so Lona and her brother are eating some like bagels. I don't have a lot of like food that like can be separated. So we'll just pretend it's something else. So they're having bagels and I think I'm planning for this to be orange juice. Um, so they're gonna have some orange juice and their dad is coming over with tea for the adults that's non-caffeinated because it's obviously at night. Um, yeah, and then their mom is making some soup and taking something out of the oven. It's like a mystery. I have no idea what that is. And I've never, like, gotten a chance to figure out what it is. Um, so, yeah, that's just my little kitchen scene. Um, yeah, okay. Um, and before I end the video, I just wanted to say that um, in the future, I will make a video, like, showcasing all of, like, my collection, all of the, uh, families that I have. Probably not all the sets that I have, because they're all pretty jumbled up, because I got most of them when I was younger. So, like, I just put them in one bag together, and now I don't know what is what, and I've lost a lot of pieces. So, yeah, now I, um, tend to keep them in boxes so that I don't lose them. But yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. Like and subscribe or don't worry. The um video cut out, but what I was saying was 
um, if you could like and subscribe or don't, it's okay. Um, I don't know. Just thank you for watching this video in general. Okay, bye. Thank you.